Hello and welcome to this BI Builder demonstration by Interface. I am Giorgio Manzella, Customer Success Manager here at Interface, and we are a Bitrix24 Gold Partner providing implementation, customization, training, and support. In this video, I will show you how to create a dashboard with BI Builder, to change some charts, and to change the one that are currently in place in the dashboard, how to create new ones, and how to use the SQL Studio to look for IDs that you might be missing. So we can start by going here, and then we're gonna have deal analytics, lead trends, sales trends, sales breakdown, and call analytics. All of these are standard, and it's not possible for us to change them. So we're gonna go to my dashboard. From here, we can see the standard bat dashboards. We can open one just to have a look. And this is gonna pull up almost all the records we have. It's a template that we cannot change. But what we can do here is filter by dates. So from here, we can change the start date and the end date. And then we're gonna able to pull up specific records. So for example, I want to select in this case, date and I'm gonna apply the filters and we can see that the number changes. And this is quite fast to have an analytical view of a specific person or a specific data range. But let's say we want to edit this and we want to change the layout. What we can do is we can go to edit and it will prompt us that it's gonna make a copy of this dashboard and then from there we will be able to take so ideally you should click on continue, but I'm gonna click cancel here because I've already done it. As you can see, there are many copies here. And then a test dashboard, which is a copy that where I just changed the name. So we can open this. And here you can see that it's a bit different. But let's say we want to change all of this layout. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit and it's gonna ask us to send it into the dashboard editor. So we're gonna copy the password. Login will always be Bitrix. And we just say Bitrix and we copy the, the password. We are now into the editor. From here, there are a couple of things that can be achieved. I'm gonna start with the SQL Studio or the SQL lab. I'm gonna open it in a new window. And from here, you're gonna be able to see that you're able to do strict SQL queries if you want. Or if you want, you can just look at the ID of the field that you would like to take into consideration or to pull up into a report. So let's say one category, we know that this is what we need to use. This can have many uses, and if you want to, if you have a very complex databases and you want to create something very specific that then you, you can export, here is a place where you can do it. If not, we can now just go to charts, and we can see that there are a couple of test charts that I have created here, but if you want to create a new one, you can just go up here to add chart, and in here you're gonna have an array of different charts that really will suit the kind of data that you want to pull up. But let's say we do a pie charts this time, we select the data set. So let's say we're gonna use Bitrix deal in call statistic as our data set, create new chart. How does this work? In here, you can see all the data that is getting retrieved in the schema. And here is the query. The query is where we're gonna input our values and what's gonna give us the charts. So let's say in dimensions, we're gonna put the manager. We want to divide this pie chart by manager. And then as a metrics to calculate, we're gonna put quantity, I'm gonna save. I can see that this didn't happen. So manager, save, there we go. And now I'm gonna generate the chart and we can see that this is the chart that we have generated. 
we can change the name of the chart from here. So and we can save it. Now this one has been saved. What we can do is that we can go to the dashboard, which is this one, that's dashboard. And from here again, edit dashboard. And let's say this is complete. I can see that there is a space here, but I'm going to delete this. And let's say we don't have any more space. How do we overcome this? Next chart, we have layout elements. And in here, we can add more elements to add to our dashboard. So for example, let's add a row in here. Here we are. And then we can use the custom chart that I've just created. And I'll just drop it here. And here I can see the results I want. I save it. And here it is. To this, we can also apply filters, which are going to be this one. And filters are also customizable. Let's say we want a different kind of filter. So we click on Add, Edit Filters. And we want to add a new one. And it's going to be a filter. And in here, we can choose what we want to do. We want to choose the filter type, if it's a numerical range, a time range, a column. So let's say it's a value. And let's say by weekday. I'm going to change the name. Save. And now here we have weekday filter. Let's say I just want to see for Mondays. I will apply the filters. And here the data will change based only on this filter, which is going to give me all the Mondays for last year and all the data that answer to these filters. Thank you for watching this and please get in touch for a full demonstration or to find out more about this and other solution, go to interface.com solutions.